So I guess it's safe to say that I got a package here. What is up, you guys? Ryan Brewer back here, the host of Michael Myers Reacts, and the Scream Factory Friday the 13th box set is finally here, and I'm going to unbox it for you guys, and it's in a huge box. Now, obviously, the set isn't actually this big, but um, I've already cracked it open a little bit, so now i got to figure out how I'm going to open this correctly, because I feel like I'm going to be doing this wrong. I don't know which way this actually goes. Oh, my gosh. Oh, here we go. Okay, okay, nice. So, we obviously got something here, which is, most of you have probably seen by now. This is, I believe, the poster, uh, which is pretty cool. It's a really nice box, actually. Let me show you guys how this is, like, you know, the presentation of this. So, once you open the box, this is what it looks like. And I have to say that this is some great packaging. You got the, the poster roll thing here. You got the actual set, Scream Factory, and then Friday the 13th Collection Deluxe Edition. Now, this is just too cool. Um, by all means, let's just get into this set. So here it is, ladies and gentlemen, the Friday the 13th Collection Deluxe Edition. I mean, this, obviously, this box is just absolutely amazing. I mean, it is so freaking cool. I mean, look at the top here. It's not upside down? Okay, well, yeah, we're good. This is so cool. And then the side view here, all the movies with the, the bonus content. There's also supposed to be a book in here. I mean, this thing is just absolutely beautiful so with that being said let's just crack into this because i've been waiting to unbox this thing all freaking day and i'm so glad it's here so here we go let's open this up this is so nice uh, this is definitely my favorite box set now that i own uh, this is absolutely beautiful unfortunately i missed out on the the uh halloween set they had come out years ago unfortunately but this one i knew i wasn't going to miss out on take that off here Got to get that little glue off. I hate the glue they put on here, but it doesn't. It comes off pretty decently easy. So here's the back on this side where the thing was a second ago, the uh, the card insert. But let's get into these Blu-rays. I mean, this is really what it's all about. So here we go. Obviously, the original Friday the 13th here on Blu-ray. I really love these cases, too. They're just white, clear cases. I think that's really awesome. Uh, I'm so excited to dive into these. Like, th this is just too cool. I'm going to try not to knock the set over. Let me open it here. This is a two-disc. It has uncut version and theatrical version inside, which is really cool. This is definitely, if you're a Friday fan, this is the set to own for sure. Then you got Friday the 13th Part 2, of course. I'm trying not to knock this down, but this is kind of difficult. This is a one-disc here. And, of course, you can reverse the artwork if you want to, but... I probably won't. I'll probably keep the original cover art on it. Then you got, obviously, Friday 13th Part 3, a.k.a. Part 3D. Really cool stuff. I love that they put the theatrical posters on the front, and there's disc artwork. Like, that's amazing. Uh, my favorite Friday 13th. Friday 13th, the final chapter here. Really cool. I love the clear cases, too. I really like that. This is, this is definitely my favorite set. I absolutely love this set. Friday 13th Part 5, A New Beginning. Really cool as well. I'm so happy this is in. Like, I can't wait to actually crack into this set and start watching the movies, start watching the bonus features, and so on. My Probably my second or third favorite in the franchise. Friday the 13th Part 6, a lot of people's favorite in the franchise. Um, but it's probably my third, second or third favorite. Then, now you can't really reverse the artwork. It's kind of just a picture in the background now, which is fine. Uh, I don't plan on re reversing any of these anyways. Then you got Friday the 13th Part 7, the new blood here. Really awesome. Kane Hodder's first time playing Jason, of course. Really cool stuff. Really, really cool stuff. I really love this set. Very nice set. Let's see here. Uh, Friday 13th Part 8, Jason Takes Manhattan. Uh, a lot of people... Really don't like this one so much, but I actually have fun with it. Really nice. I mean, this 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 set really just blows me away. It is absolutely amazing. Then you got Jason Goes to Hell here, which I haven't seen in years. So I know this also includes the unrated version, I believe. Let's see here. Yeah, theatrical cut and unrated. So that's pretty cool. Haven't watched this movie in years because it's garbage, but I really can't wait to watch it anyways. Again, because it's been so long. Now it's kind of... <clears throat> come on. 
Jason X, the worst one in the franchise in my opinion, but here it is. Jason X on Blu-ray here now. These two I didn't own, so now I officially own Jason Goes to Hell and Jason X, you know. It is what it is. It completes the collection. Not a big deal at all. Then up next, if I can get this out, Freddy vs. Jason here. A uh, really fun movie as well. I know a lot of people don't like this one either, but I would disagree. This one's really fun to me. There it is, Freddy vs. Jason. Real, this set is just mind-blowing. I mean, it just doesn't end. Well, I mean, it does end, but... And then, of course, Friday the 13th, the 2009 remake, reboot, whatever you want to call it. Woo! This set is just absolutely loaded, guys. I love this. Too freaking cool. As a Friday fan, this is this is amazing. And then you got Friday the 13th collection bonus material. Here. Sorry about that cut right there. My camera decided to die. But as I was saying about Friday the 13th, the bonus material, I can't wait to crack into this stuff. Um, because this this thing is loaded obviously two discs really nice artwork I love it and as most of you know it also comes with a cool booklet which is like a 54 page booklet 60 page booklet I mean it's got you know obviously pictures from like the movies and stuff like that I mean there's a lot of stuff you can read in this that tells you about the movies obviously the reboot here um, let's go to the beginning that's probably where I should have started in the first place talking about the original Friday I mean you could this is really cool. I think uh, Scream Factory really outdid themselves with this. And as a Friday fan, this is just really, really cool. So there it is, everyone. The set in its entirety. I mean, it's just so freaking beautiful. I love this set so much. I can't wait to obviously go through and watch the movies again and all the bonus stuff and everything like that. But not only did I get the set, I was also lucky enough, obviously, if you've seen earlier, to get the posters. Poster or posters? I'm not sure. I'm going to... Crack this open and see what we have here. Yes, two posters here. Really cool. Okay, they got it wrapped in something. Let's see. They got it taped through. Why would you tape it like this, Scream Factory? But okay. All right, let me rip this. Not the poster. The Okay, here we go. Oh, my gosh, guys. I don't know how I'm going to show you all this, but... Friday the 13th, 40th anniversary. This is very uncomfortable. I don't know if you guys can see that well, but I might do a different shot here in a second. Uh, well, I don't know. I don't know if I'll be able to. Let me show you all the other one. Oh, my gosh. There it is. Friday the 13th collection. I hope you guys can see that pretty well. Um, follow me on my Facebook page uh, and on Instagram, at Michael Myers Reacts. I'll probably post a few photos of these posters, but... That's what you get. I mean, you definitely get your money's worth, in my opinion, and I'm very excited. I love this stuff. So if you guys did enjoy this video, please leave a like and subscribe. That would be much appreciated, and I will see you guys tomorrow on Horror Movie Night Episode 12.